Take a listen to President Obama and his national security advisor, Susan Rice. Just think about what we've done these last eight years without firing a shot. We've eliminated Syria's declared chemical weapons program. All of these steps have helped keep us safe and helped keep our troops safe. Those are the result of diplomacy. If we don't have strong efforts there, the more you will be called upon to clean up after the failure of diplomacy. We were able to find a solution that actually removed the chemical weapons that were known from Syria in a way that the use of force would never have accomplished. Well, there you see President Obama, December 2016, then Susan Rice, just in January, the 16th this year. In April of 16, the State Department had a report called the Compliance with the Convention on Prohibition of the Development, Production, Stockpiling, and Use of Chemical Weapons, in which it said, this is a State Department report, the United States cannot certify that the Syrian Arab Republic is in compliance with its obligations under this CWC. The United States assesses that Syria did not declare all the elements of its chemical weapons program required by Article 3 of the CWC, and that Syria may retain chemical weapons as defined by the CWC. In addition to assess CW, chemical weapons use, and maintenance of residual chemical weapons capability, Syria failed to meet most of its milestone destruction dates. Syria was obligated to declare its entire chemical weapons program. The Syrian declaration contained obvious gaps, discrepancies, and omissions as detailed above, thus placing Syria in non-compliance with the CWC declaration requirements and the additional declaration requirements. Bottom line, what the president and his national security advisor were saying was not true.